everybody dj goham here welcome back to the channel welcome to euro farms here on farming simulator 19. today we're going to be jumping in and we're going to be starting over here's the reason we're going to start over when we were playing over the weekend i didn't really take it seriously i was taking it seriously i was playing but i was doing it to get to know the map and trying things since we've logged like two and a half almost three hours on the map i decided to change a few things up I did go into John's editor. I've deleted some trees that were in our way that I thought were going to cause some issues. I also figured out another way to get into the cell points at the north end of the map. So I think we're going to be good there. And I made a few changes over at the main store just to make things easier. And I decided what brand we're going to go with for everything. I think we're going to go with Kloss. I've downloaded a couple extra mods, PC mods. I've done what I do to them. And we'll just take a look and see what we've got. And also, we only own one farm now. We've got no equipment, but I got all the money. So let's jump in and let's play. So we are in now. Let's jump and let's find maybe some contracts and let's go from there and see what we need to do. What do we have so far? Well, we've got all this decent, but I actually don't want to keep many of these garages. So we've got garages. If we bump around, we've got some garages and stuff over here. As we jump out, oh, do not do not buy that land. <laughs> that caused me enough problems. So if we come over here and we poke around, open that up, turn around, we can see we still have all the stuff on this farm. So we've got the sheds that come with it. Though, probably not going to use these sheds. They're great. Don't get me wrong. I just think that they're a little bit tight for what I want to do. Now, these sheds were made by the creator of this map, Nismo. But just not, not my thing. Just not my thing. Don't mean the bat. They're great. They're actually very, very well done. Um, Nismo did a really good job putting these together. However, they just don't fit my play style. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to delete that shed, this shed, this one to our right, and the one in front of us. Actually... This one we may leave. Let's go in and let's check it out. Uh, it's a little bit tight for the type of machinery that I want to use. So we're actually going to delete that and slowly, as we progress with the map, build up more areas of the farm. So, that said, <laughs> we're going to keep both of the cow sheds. See, that one holds 15. This one holds 200. It's a little bit low as far as cow pens go. I wonder if we could go through here and find one. I, I think the ones, let's see, the ones in game, large cow, 200. There's, a, there's some around. Yeah, like these open ones right here. These are pretty sweet. They don't take up a whole lot of room and they hold two or 150 each. So still not a whole lot of them. Let's see, are these Nisbo mods? 15, 200. I wonder if there's anything through here that hold a lot of cows. Chicken coop, chicken coop. Nah, we don't need any of that. I'm going to poke around, see what we can find. Oh, ho, ho! I did not find one, but I found the same thing. I forgot every building is placeable on this map. So guess what? That means we have this cow ship. We could just add another one. Thumbs up. 100% thumbs up. Yeah, man. Only thing is we're going to have to delete some stuff, but that's okay. That's totally cool. Uh, we'll go through here. We got bunker silos. There's one. There's two. We don't need either one of them. Bye-bye. <laughs> we'll get rid of those. We'll probably leave this here for now. We'll go through it because we don't need those. We're not going to be making silage. I don't do that. But what I do need to do is delete these bad boys. We can put our own buildings on. This is good. I like this area because it allows you to kind of build things up the way that you want to. And I think that's it. We do have another shed down there at the other end. We'll go ahead and get rid of that at least while we're at it. Okay, so that's that. Now what we need to do is we need to go into painting. Fortunately, we've got some custom painting textures here. So we can actually paint up. We'll, we'll leave where kind of like that extra grass is and that kind of thing. Just some areas make it look cool. But there we go. Yeah, through there. Good, good. 
meaning long nicely close enough and then we'll kind of I'll leave that there why not why not we'll leave that there and then the rest of this we can leave like this I think this looks good looking good so far anything down through here that needs to be changed see we've got this kind of design I think it's a raised design I'm gonna leave that I think right now I'm happy I'm happy with this I am gonna make the rest of this look kind of right we'll get rid of some of this area here ah well that painted stuff is good so we are fine this way Whenever we come in, ooh, I just went right into that, didn't I? I did, yeah. Um, you know what? <laughs> and that's totally taking it all away, too, isn't it? Good job, DJ. DJ for the win, everybody. Round of applause. <sighs> Gosh, that's not too bad. It matches, doesn't it? That's right on par. I dig it, man. Okay, cool. So you could kind of see now the way we've got everything set. So like that, go ahead and bring this in just a little bit more. And you know what? I think I am going to go ahead and come into here and get all this done as well. So after this is done, now we have our full farm where we are ready to put our own spin on it and build it ourselves, which I'm really excited about, by the way. There's through there, kind of go through. We'll get rid of all this grass. Why not? Let's just get rid of all the grass. Let's see, some of this stuff is not grass. Some of it is just stuff that's down. There we go. Looking good, man. Looking good. I dig it. And then lastly, through here. Is that going to get rid of all that? Probably. You know, I'm not even going to try and go all the way into that. Okay. I'm happy. Now we've got our main farm. So we still have our farmhouse. We still have the silo, which I think is really cool. And we have our cow pasture. We could place another cow pasture here if we wish later on down the road. As a matter of fact, with all the buildings we've sold, we could probably put another one down. And I'm afraid I'm going to forget to do that later. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and place down another cow pen. Why don't we do that? Let's do it right now. First thing we got to do is find the darn thing. We are able to put in 200 cows. This uh, should be it right here. Yep. And then all we got to do is get it lined up. Easy way to get it lined up is to put it side by side just like that and then go forward without going at an angle i think i think we did it we'll come back in just to make sure yeah we did we're good this is you know we're just trying to oh no it moved i want it to be perfect okay right there don't move dj I want to show you guys this entire process because I am super nervous right now that this is going to move. I just want to get it on the other side of this so that we can pull through and get our, our manure and slurry and everything. That is way too close over there. Okay. Bring it back. That's okay. Bring it back. If you're bored, let me know in the comment section below. I feel you, homies. I feel you. Is that good? That's about as good as it's going to get. Place it, and let's see what we need to do. So it deleted all of our grass through here, our pathway that I was going to use to do all of this. It deleted all of that, so we need to come back through and put grass on the sides right here. So we'll do that. Hey, and if it's perfect, sweet. Awesome. I could not have gotten... I'd done better there if I tried. <laughs> Mess that up a little bit. Let's find ourselves a nice little thing. There we go. That was perfect. What do you think? That It took way too long to do, but it's done. And now we have through here, through there, and it is the same. 100% exactly the same. Cool. That's a good start to our farm here. Much, much, much good. Now, we actually need to farm a little bit, don't we? Forget forget what the name, title of the game is sometimes. Let's save. Let's find through here. Oh, I forget. If you go into general settings, it slows down a little bit if you get a bunch of mods installed. Harvesting. Field 17. Soybeans. Where's field 17? Let's bring it out. Find ourselves the field 17. Right up here. Right outside where the, uh, where the store is. So, we will do that today because... We don't have any fields. We got a bunch of money. We don't have any fields. 
We're going to try and go as long as we can without buying any fields. We'll see how long, see how that takes. Boom. Accept the contract. Now all we have to do is buy the equipment. Now, as always, I have my own versions of mods. So boom, right here, modded. Oh yeah. This is similar to the one that we have in game, but it's not exactly like the one that we have in game. I already know exactly what I'm going to be going for here. Uh, let's see. We want some larger tracks. I think those are the ones. Yep. Those are the tracks right there. We want this to be a Trelleborg tire right there. There it is. Perfect. I think that's the only Trelleborg. Yep. That's the only one. And then as far as designs go through here, I think it's the second or third pipe option. We'll go through. It is this pipe option right here. That's going to be the longest one so that we can use that. And then as far as numbers go, I would like to have more than these later on down the road. Need to find out what, what this is changing. I don't see anything, but I see we have a number one. So let's go for it. Number one. Yeah, man. Uh, capacities. This doesn't say anything anymore. <laughs> I don't know why that does that, but we'll go with a half a million liter capacity just to be on the safe side. You can never be too careful. And then we want to change it up to one of these options right here. Now in the mod that I've got installed, the engine setup and capacity are um, paired together. But here, I think it's the $100,000 option that we wanna go with. Yep, because these are engine options. So we want the Lexian 8900. Perfect there. And then fill volume. I don't know. That was together. To, you know what? We'll go with this one. It'll be fine. <laughs> I hope it's fine. All right. There we go. There's a $350,000 combine. Load it up. Hit drives. That's all we need. We'll unfold. This should look weird. And it does. Yep. That's what you get when you have mods, unfortunately. And... Everything's working good. We'll go ahead and test the fill real quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's hanging through a little bit, isn't it? That's going to be fun to get used to. If we close this, do we still have to see that? No, we don't. All right, cool. I'll take it. And it's 500,000 liters. Perfect. So we'll go back through. Boop. Dunzo. Fold this up and we're good. Now we need headers. We need a corn header. Yep, and we need a header header, real header, normal header. The headers that people use. So we'll start with the header header. Now, you guys know I'm gonna go straight to one of my modded versions, but we're not going with one that goes mega, mega fast. We're gonna use the one that I always use. 19 miles an hour, um, technically slower than what a console player could use, but uh, this is what we're gonna go with here. Main color, I always go back and forth about which class color to use here. So I'm gonna start with a white. I think. We'll go from there and design. Oh, I remember how this goes. So, so white goes on the end, main color like that, or you could do it like this. Either way, I think we're going to go just like that. We'll change this over to Kloss. And I think that looks perfect. Absolutely perfect, except we don't have the red rotor on it. I think we'll be okay. Let's hit buy. There we go. There's one. And then we want a corn header. Now I have a corn header that is very similar to this it is modded hs12 right here uh 15 miles an hour so it's a little bit slower actually than um than the regular header the question would be what color do we go with here do we go with red which i think would look pretty good do we go with white which i know would look good or green which just looks the way it should i think green's probably the way to go at least right here this is the 12 this is not the version i want what am i doing that was too small hey there we go 18 miles per hour that's a little bit better uh, green, 12 meter, perfect. Yes, purchase, thank you very much. So now we've got both of these. Also, uh, I did take a look. This is a custom lighting engine for the map. Dude, this looks really, really good. I, uh, with sunglasses the other day, a couple episodes ago, is tough, it's real tough to do this. However, without sunglasses, you can actually see, and it just looks different. It looks different. It looks cool. I like it. I really, really do. So now we have our combine. 
Our corn header, unfortunately, is going to be going... Uh, oh, can we get through here? Yeah, we can get through here. Our corn header is not going to be used, at least on this first contract. Uh, but we do need some other things. For example, a semi-truck. We need a semi-truck, and we need a trailer. I think I know what we're going to go with. But just to be on the safe side, see, where are we going? Build 17? Hey, that's right in front of us, isn't it? We'll just kind of drive right across. Oh, no! Crash counter plus one again. Can I please have my header? Really? All right. That's what we got to do like that. I can just make you disappear, and you have been... Bye-bye, gone. <laughs> hey, there goes the train. Perfect timing for me to say I need to put this header away. There we go, we'll drop that and we'll grab this. Now, one good thing is this uh, combine will hold half a million liters. So I doubt that we're gonna have to come through and uh, and fill this up so we could just do our job, be finished. There we go, we got that. Sweet, let's lower it just to see what the combine behaves like. Looks like it behaves just fine. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and unfold the uh, combine itself. We'll get this kind of lined up, and I'll turn my help window on. You guys can't see my help window, but actually, you might be able to. Yeah! Oh, I forgot I could make my face disappear. I added that button since the last time so that I could show you right here. We have enable straw swath. So the straw swath is now enabled. Boop. Oh, no. Boop. There I am, my ugly face. But we're going to leave that because we got a little bit more equipment that we need to buy. I need a truck, and I need a trailer. As a matter of fact, let's buy the trailer. Well, let's look at the combinations that we have. First, we need a semi-trailer. We're going to get a semi-trailer and a semi-truck. Uh, there is no question about what I'm using. It's this right here. This worked phenomenal when I was trying to use it, so we're going to do the same thing again. This is going to be super classed out. Uh, and then as far as tops goes, I think I'm just going to go with a standard. Uh, this looks good. Why change it? Uh, see, we have Trailborg and Michelin tires. Trailborg, we do have a wide tire and a T404. Um, and then Michelin, we have a standard wide and a mega wide. So we have all those options. Now we have to figure out what semi truck we're going to use. A lot of you would probably say, DJ, use the new VS truck that we just got. So that would be this guy right here. It's not going to look good on this map. Not at all. This, however, would look pretty good. And we have a Trelleborg option on here as well. So we have Trelleborg there. We could do the six wheel version right there. Main color, cloth green, rim color, red, and then engine, big. <laughs> and and 100%, that's what we're going with. It's a beautiful truck. Um, VSR Mod Team did an amazing job with it. I highly recommend that you go check it out. They've got three trucks now with a fourth in the works. There is a lot of good things happening. Raleigh Christie, Shaba, all those guys are just really, really killing it right now. Um, now, I will tell you, this trailer, I have modded myself. So there's some things with this trailer that are different than what you may find if you were using something like this or this or similar. So I'm just gonna put a standard up there, Trelleborg. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna go with a standard. There we go. We will uh, do a check to make sure that everything lines up. I like that the truck is just a little bit higher than the uh, trailer. We may also mod that as well to, uh, and then we'll test, uh, test our turning radius, which is a little bit too good. Yeah, that is really good, dude. All right, so there is one thing I want to check real quick. We'll turn that off. I want to get the top lined up perfectly on both. I think that would look really cool. Let's go through here and let's check that out. Uh, nope, tab over. There we go. That's what we want. And then let's see our capacity. That's what we have now. So I think do like this. I love the one that flips over. It's only 3,300 bucks extra. And it fits perfect. DJ's happy. All right. We now have everything at least to start with that we need to do this field. We are going to need a baler. So do keep that in mind. We're going to need a baler. And we're going to need uh, some other stuff as well. What else are we going to need? Tractor. Yeah. We don't have one of those yet. Look at this. Oh, there's a, tra <laughs> there's a train. Perfect timing. Also, this green. I love it. 
This is a long take. I'm just looking at this. All right, so uh, let's get to work so we can farm a little bit today. Uh, let's get to work. This field is field 17. We're here at the top of the map. And I know how long field 18 took. It took well, only 20 minutes. And this is half the size. So with equipment half the size, should still take 20 minutes. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to have a little bit of fun and uh, harvest this field on my lonesome. And, uh, and we'll just see how long it takes. Man, this lighting looks really good, though. Oh, yeah. And while we're doing this, by the way, the animation looks amazing on this. Uh, while we're doing this, I wanted to let you know that I am not in easy mode. Contrary to my normal gameplay, we're actually in normal. Yeah. We're running in normal mode. We are not running in easy mode for this. Uh, usually... Usually I'll go straight to easy mode because easy mode is, well, just that easy. But I decided uh, last minute that for this series, for this little mini gameplay, uh, that we would run a very, very normal gameplay. We will still progress quickly. The fields are large, time consuming, yes, but the fields are large. We will have plenty of uh, plenty of money at the end of the day. I, I think we showed after the... Uh, was it part one and two of the do I like this map or not series that we did over the weekend? I think we showed that uh, it is very easy to make money, especially if you're on PC and especially if you have the straw me mod installed, which <laughs> we do. We're doing canola right now. Uh, so let's keep going, man. Also, thank you for the support on this uh, for this map. Thank you for the support on this channel as a whole. All I want to do is entertain you guys teach you something, have fun with you. That's why I like doing the face cam. Face cam's a whole lot of fun, and and whoever's idea it was, uh, it, uh, it may have been everybody's idea, but like, DJ, I bugged you about that like four years ago. Bro, I started YouTube like two and a half years ago. <laughs> I love you. All right, uh, I think we're getting close to getting one headland done. Should not take long. Still gonna take me about 20 minutes or so to do this field at 19 miles an hour, so. Let's party, baby. The last run right here. We've done well. We haven't got as much as I thought we were going to, but still okay. We've got a decent amount, 73,000 liters. Now, unfortunately, we don't get to keep much of it because this is, at the end of the day, a contract. But we're done. Technically, if I can get across here without being hit by a train, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. No train, no train, no train, no train. Go, 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 go. I'm going to get hit by a train before it's all said and done. When? That's the question, but it's going to happen. Oh, come on. We're not going to unload. Is this just something that we can't do? <laughs> See, told you. Um, so, can we, can I have this? This is the great part about doing mods and and stuff is sometimes it works sometimes they don't and this one does not seem to be working too well what if we close this back up and come back through eh maybe might work it's not gonna work oh i've had this trouble so many times before this is not gonna work we will have to uh probably exit the game and come back that usually works. Yep. That is 100% what we're going to have to do. I might even have to figure out what to do from there. Yeah, let's figure it out. Uh, save game again? Yeah. Is it going to work? Probably not. Let's be real. Told you. <laughs> Why would it? All right. Well, I've got... There's, there's options here, okay? We've got options. Option one, and we're going to try option one first. How much can we hold? 800,000 liters. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Actually, do I have a mod installed to where I can't, or like I have to auto load this? Um, let's see. Pipe in, pipe out, up and down, turn on the harvester, change cruise control speed. It doesn't look like I have to force unload. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. Actually, there's just not a... I don't have access to this land. So it's just not letting me unload it 
period. Never seen that before, okay? And it's, oh, that's a train. Go, boys, let's go. Hey, hey. yes, sir. Let's go back through. Let's see if it'll let us do it here. Um, I'm not sure. I think I maybe I selected the wrong thing or I broke the combine. I definitely broke the combine. Don't have access to site. Yeah, it's not letting me do the thing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to come across here. We're just going to go ahead and get everything taken down to our other farm, our main farm. Let's go ahead and unfold the header. Let it do its thing. Once it goes boop, there we go. We'll boop that out. I'm really, I'm interested. I think what happened was whenever I selected the unfold uh, or the, uh, there's an issue I think that I, I caused. I think I know what it is. I hope this works or else we're just never going to be able to unload the combine ever. Should have tested that. All right. So I think we're going to 24. Is that right? 24. Yep. 24 it is. We'll just go in here. Can we go backwards with it? Yes, we can. Filled 24. It kind of flips everything around, but eventually, there you go. Bounces back. Let's go through here because our silo's in here. So if I can get to our, oh, that, was our that was our turn. If I can get in and get to our silo, then I think we'll be okay. This header's too big for this, isn't it? Sure is. Do we have another way we can get in? Is there another way into the farm? Man, why has everything got to be like this? I mean, it's my fault at the end of the day. All right, nothing there. Yep, we have our two cow farms. That's great news. <laughs> Let's see. That is the only way in and out. Really? Why? That doesn't make any sense. That is that is difficult to say the least. Well, let's see. Probably not. Yeah, of course not. All right. Well, it looks like our corn headers <laughs> kind of stay outside and that tree's solid too, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Well, let's just drop that out there. Sorry, corn header. You, you had a good ride. Is that really the only way in here? surprising this is very very surprising all right we'll just drop this header off here because i'll come back later and and deal with it this is the only other thing i know to do is to put this over this but it's not having it at all um i'm gonna try one more thing or else after that we're we're broken, I think. Uh, let's see, vehicle workshop. Do we have anything cool that's a vehicle workshop? I think I fixed it. I, I think, I think I did. I think I did. Uh, <laughs> should we? We should find out. Definitely. Is this the only thing we have left up here? That's the only thing we have left up there. I think I fixed it. I don't know what was going on exactly, but that option, the one that was like fill volume or whatever. I changed it to unlisted instead of whatever the option was there. Now I'm getting the option to unload onto the ground. So, ooh hoo wee So that should mean... Crap. <laughs> you see I'm saying unload here? But... It's not unloading into this. Man! Oh, hold up. Oh, watch yourself. I don't, I don't understand, but it's working. That's all I care about. It's working now. We're good. <laughs> Life is fun. We can, we can go on with, with, with a bad selves. We still got a little bit more to do. So this can now be put away wherever we're going to put it. Uh, for now, it's going to go right here and, and that'll be just fine. This is going to be folded up. Where are we selling this? Probably up here up north. Yep, absolutely correct there. Uh, we were on field 17. Is that right? Field 17, yeah. So let's take this. Let's put everything back on field 17. And then we will do uh, two things. One, we will buy a loading wagon. And two, we will buy a tractor. And I think I know what tractor I'm going to go with. I mean, come on. We're using large machinery. You have to have the class 5000 Zarian. It's 
it's important and and if you thought literally that i was going to use anything other than this loading wagon you're crazy because this is the best loading wagon in the world here's what we need to do before we finish i need to pick this up i need to sell this i need to go sell the soybeans and then i need to turn back around and make sure that everything is taken care of with this field so we'll confirm the contract and then we will relocate over to the main farm for the uh for the outro or beforehand whatever and uh and then we will go from there so i think there we are very very close to being finished at least with this at this time pretty exciting cool all right let's pick all this up I don't think we're going to get too much, but we'll get just enough. We're ready. Let's do it. Let's jump in here. I've got everything queued up, ready to go. Actually, we watch a Mr. Beast 24-hour live stream. Let's see. Let's get some light going so I can see. Can I even fit this through here? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. All right. First off goes all of the soybean straw. And it's gone. We made 102 grand. Not bad. I'll take it. It's more than zero. So that's what matters. And then lastly, we've got this bad boy right here. Now, you're probably wondering, DJ, why did you sell it the other place? Well, we tried selling the uh, corn straw, soybean straw, and uh, canola straw there. The last time did not work very well. All right, I need some light. This one's going to be tricky because we got to watch it and make sure and wait until we start making money. And then stop. And wait for it. There it is. Stop. $2,100. Darn it. All right. So we've we got $19,000 left. As a matter of fact, that is the wrong button. Where's the best place for con or soybeans right now? Um, actually, where we're at. Tara? Is that where we are? Yep. Okay. So we can just sell the rest of this now. Is this the best price? So there you go. Make a little bit extra cash. And on top of all that, so we made 100 and some thousand off the straw, 28,000 off of the um yep the thing itself <laughs> Hell! and then collect no more off of that so what do we have uh what do we have left of course we have corn and field 18 haven't we done that already and then of course in field uh, c30 we have soybean or seven we have soybeans and in field two we have barley so i'm gonna go ahead and accept all of those we'll get some more work done but i think as of right now where's a really cool Oh, there we go as of right now that is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed if you did drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new if you like the face cam stuff and if you like euro farm let me know in the comment section below if you think i should be doing something else let me know there too either way i love you very much hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace